my friends, here we are again back in the workshop for the second round of my uh, rally mod on my XV01 Tamiya Asterian. As you'll see from the first one, just swapping the wheels and tyres for rally sized ones didn't help at all really to be honest. So what we're going to do today is have a look at what we can do with the suspension. I'll get on a bit and uh, remove the wheels so we can have a better view and as usual I'll be back. The first thing I'm going to try on the back is to simply move the ball joints from this inner hole to the outer hole which then should mean that this is a longer lever I think this is right and thus will take more force to compress the spring because the lever's got further to travel and all that and there's lots of sciencey stuff that I've got no idea about but hey there we go so I'll uh, crack on and do that and uh, we can see how we go well, nothing's ever simple, is it? I was expecting when I put smooth this ball joint that uh, it would raise the arm up to somewhere about there. However, what I hadn't realised was that uh, the actual shock is uh, longer, has more travel than I thought. So although this is bottoming out it's not because of the shock it's because it's hitting the bottom of the chassis the same as this one but as you can hopefully see now we've got all this travel on the, sh on the spring whereas this side no travel. So I'm going to have to have a contemplate there. Right what I've decided to do in the end for now and I'm still not really sure what will happen but rather than taking the innards of the shock absorber out I've put these two half height pretensioners in just so that it tensions it up a bit because um, I don't know about anybody else but uh, I've lost a couple of these bottom clips if the spring has been loose so I always try and get a little bit of tension on the springs just to hold those clips in as best as possible um, but it does make it a bit stiffer so I'll made the two changes, moved them out and put the clip in so we'll see what happens with that but uh, yeah I can feel a difference that's quite a, quite a bit more force needed to push the springs down so that they bottom out and it still doesn't seem to uh, rebound too quickly so he is hoping and if it makes it better I might have to look at doing something to the front but you probably can't see can you? no I can't see um, but there are two holes and at the minute it's on the furthest hole out so I need to leave that there and there's no adjustment on the top whereas something else I've noticed that I could try is uh, moving the top ball joint that can go into four positions so uh, yeah let's see how we go on I think there could be lots and lots of uh, adjustments needed still because of the, uh, I believe he's got the long travel 
on it anyway let's see how we get on this time before we get into the action here are a couple of slow-mo drop clips top clips are before and bottom after the changes can you see a difference in these drops Tip it over, is it, dude? Apart from when you're in the rut. Was a tip. Okay, so hopefully, from uh, looking at uh, the footage, just you'll agree that uh, it has improved. Um, it did still tip over, but uh, I think uh, even an ordinary XV01 may well have tipped over in that grass because it. Uh, was quite potholy and lots of hidden holes and really quite grippy. So I think for the moment I'm going to leave it as it is. Apart from, and this isn't um, a handling enhancement, I'm going to lower these mud guards down because I don't think they do much anyway and it's hindering the possible even lowering more or lowering this even more so I'll do that and uh, see how we get on with it so with that I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, on the next one cheers bye